you know, I, I mean, I that whole aspect when you start something and you quit. I mean, we, we there's a, a whole article right um, from um, Inside Hook that Kiyoshi mm-hmm. was featured on Five and Blue, uh, where you know, like they're talking about like the whole the return of the menswear blog, right? You got all these people in cor- at the beginning of quarantine, like April or whatever, starting stuff, and then when you look now, I mean, you know. Kiyoshi post stuff. The Grange is occasional and everything, but you look back. Last post for me was in April, so. (laughs) Well, or maybe maybe. I I was just trying to be nice because you're here. Um, (laughs) Hey, I'll I'll out myself on that one. (laughs) But I mean, I mean that's kind of the idea, right? Where it's it's kind of hard for what's up, Chris? Um, Don't get on mic. Um, Where. You know, people have this idea of starting things, and and, and you know, I, you know, Kyoshi initially, right? When I posted on Reddit, we talked a little bit about like, you know, like what yeah. the purpose behind it is, right? And it's unfortunate when people want to, you know, make it into a full time job or they want to lead somewhere, right? Which is totally fair. There's nothing wrong with doing that. But then when when people stop doing it, I feel kind of sad because I I like seeing content. I like consuming content. And like Spencer said, you know, a lot of men's were stuff that we'd found early on when we were starting it is that people stopped. And mm-hmm. I knew that I was like, you know, like, I don't care. You know, like I it's like at the time uh, it was like eight bucks a month. Right. To host it uh, eat from each of us because it's sixteen dollars total and to host on SoundCloud. We picked SoundCloud because it was easy. Uh, we didn't want to buy anything with like analytics because we were like, well, this is definitely going to be a vanity project. Like we're, <laughs> we don't like we don't really care. Because yeah. like a lot of we might have to switch later on, you know, as we get more, you know. Uh, I, Van, I was doing some research, and doesn't seem like we we really need to. Yeah, I know. I mean, it, again, yeah. it doesn't really matter because like you know the whole thing, like just with like the blog where I started it and I tried doing a sponsored post once, uh, where I actually had to review something and I got like I didn't get paid for it, but like I got like <laughs> I I I basically. Um, this preppy brand that was like from like some random ass university in the south was like, hey, we want to give you a free bow tie, and it was awful. Um, I forgot what their name was. Oh, it was called Nicholas Ryan because it was like oh. Nicholas and Ryan from this ah. you know thing. That sucks. And, and I knew at the time I was like, I have to make sure this sounds good. I can't, I can't be mean because like I know how marketing works, right? Like you do a good sponsored post and then other people who find you look, okay, this guy does that. So I can offer him this. And like, you know, you just kind of keep trading up, which is why a lot of people like men's were YouTubers, which we'll get into in a future episode on the podcast, why a lot of the stuff that they start out with is very shitty or mm-hmm. just not good. And then eventually they kind of get, you know, they get the, you know, you move on from like the knockoff stuff to Dan- to actual Daniel Wellington and Daniel Wellington isn't good, but it's like that idea. Like now you're working with like a bigger, more well-known brand that will, yeah pay you for that sponsorship and immediately i knew that was a bad idea and so like my blog has oh my that's why my blog's a free wordpress account and i i embed things using Flickr because i pay for Flickr to host my uh to access the archive for my pictures but it also embeds freely into wordpress because if i if i actually put if i actually imported an um an image into wordpress it would uh there's like a there's like a what do you call it a gap on the uh, a cap on the data that you can actually upload into kind of like you know when you hit google you know your data allowance or, or your storage allowance so i did Flickr because it was the easiest way to host as many pictures as possible in a free way and then because uh, because early on um Flickr had a free terabyte for all for all members and oh, then so now nice. yeah and then they <laughs> lost money i think on <laughs> servers and so they they changed it up <laughs> But of course, now after five years of taking, or no, I had Flickr before. Yeah, like six years of taking pictures, uh, I have to buy Flickr, otherwise I'd lose like all my shit, you know. Man. But but yeah, so the That's podcast, was kind of, yeah, the podcast was kind of the same way where, you know, we found the cheapest way to do it, and it only costs again six uh, sixteen dollars a month to kind of do this, not including the amount of work we put into it, the amount of work that I put into, I at least originally editing the podcast and everything. Um, and so, yeah, it was always going to be a fun thing that, you know, we would have our friends on and even, yeah, 2017, I had just maybe just started working at Scott Chang or maybe I was like, I was still searching for jobs. Um, no, I think I was actually at Scott Chang at the time. Maybe I don't, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but like, you know, I wasn't well connected. I still hadn't met any of the Drake guys yet or Ethan Newton or whoever. So like, there was no way we're going to get our friends, like those people on. Um, but then of course we, we were, we're talking to this guy Algis, you know, who, who was very, 
knowledgeable, was around our age, you know, and everything. We were friends with the Gooch brothers, you know, we had Raj and everything. And so, yeah. And then it kind of just, it, it, it's always going to be like that. It's always going to be like a fun, um, a fun little project for us that we are glad to have some support from you guys now. Yeah. Great. And so we have, we have an announcement. The, the podcast uh, has been purchased. The rights to the story of the podcast has been purchased by Paramount Pictures. That's right. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal will be playing me. Um, and Rooney Mike, will be playing Mike Moe will be playing Ethan. Ethan. Yeah. That's right. Uh, Hans Zimmer is doing the score. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I was gonna say I, I thought you were gonna say we've been purchased by Barstool Sports. <laughs> we've been purchased by Barstool Sports. <laughs> we've been purchased yeah, by gonna, uh, Machine. We're, we're gonna get in trouble, and then we're gonna you're gonna see a new podcast with a totally different name come up yeah, later. Sure. Next episode, next episode's guest is gonna be Dave Portnoy. He's gonna be on the podcast, yeah. of course. Yeah. I don't know what does Dave Portnoy wear. I'm gonna Google Dave Portnoy style. Let's he wears see. like sweatpants and, and yeah, and like jeggings. Yeah. yeah. Like like skinny jeans and common puffs. Okay. Yeah, he has a photo of him wearing a leopard print outfit. He has an embroidered hoodie. Brian. This is kind of our mess for a podcast, Dave Portnoy. Like <laughs> yeah, come on, dude. Like... Yeah, coward. Um I'm see I'm looking at this now uh again. Um we we had a lot of guests, I think. At That's I mean on. that was our angle for a bit. We were like, okay, well we're gonna yeah that was yeah that was like I said we were, we were gonna interview like regular guys that that we yeah. thought were pretty stylish or had a unique point of view on menswear that mm -hmm. ne didn't necessarily work in the industry, um, and you realize that not many people who are into menswear are good at technology. Yeah, so we had we always had issues with remote interviews because either people uh, did not have any recording equipment or did not how to know how to get us their audio, um, and we didn't. I don't want. I'm not going to say that we ran out of local guests because we still have like a list of like all these people around LA. But I don't know. I think we just got caught kind of tired of doing interviews. Also, it's a lot yeah. more. It's a lot more scheduling. It's a lot more work. And that's why we would go on like month long like hiatus between episodes because yeah. we weren't free. And then and then we wouldn't be free. You know, like uh -huh. we would go we would have like, you know I mean back then we were both working well, yeah, we both basically made minimum wage. Mm -hmm. uh, and I did for three years. So, you know, it's um that's was always kind of a dampener for us. And that's also, you know, again, one reason why I think a lot of people start podcasts and they want to make money out of it, but we just wanted to, we decided that one hour, what our, our, our podcast was worth one hour of work for us. Yeah. And look where we are now. Over Crazy, here. right? Crazy. This, yeah. is, this is what happens when you follow your dreams. <laughs> yep. You know, and so, yeah, I mean. Again, like people talk about getting sponsorships and everything, and again, we'll we'll talk about this at the end of the year because our our last episode before the end of of twenty twenty is going to be on menswear influencers, um, finally, yeah, um, something that's been you know cooking for a long time. But you know, it's this idea that like you know if you can't make money out of it, it's not worth doing. And I thought that was that's complete bullshit. Um, and if and even if even if that's the case, which again is not it's it's bullshit, but like I get it, you know, you don't want to put work in something that's not you're not getting something out of, but it's also like if you really care about the thing, you would share it anyway, yeah. you know. And I genuinely thought that these ideas, and I still do, that these ideas are worth me sharing, especially with all the other guests that we had. It's just unfortunate that we couldn't do it. And um, I mean, I think guests now would be would be fun. We did one with Young Chomsky, which was like a a good change of pace for us. Mm -hmm. Um. It's also a little bit jarring compared to some of the other episodes that we've done, um, because like you know, it's always about deep dives into things. Um, but yeah, the last guest that we had was in October third, twenty eighteen. Man, oh, that was a lot of twenty nineteen without a guest, and nearly and halfway through twenty twenty. Yeah. But yeah, October third was Austin and Men's Were YouTubers, and so Austin, if you don't know, is a gen is Gentleman's yeah. Avenue on Instagram. Fun guy. He is like the menswear tailoring guy from a men like a small menswear shop 
in te- in Dallas called mm-hmm. the man the man shop. I think the man. I think so. Shop. Yeah, it's been around. It's been there for like fifty years. Something. Yeah, like I think it's kind of similar to what Jason where I forgot what Jason's store is called, but you know, it's like you know, it has that like has like active wear. They have mm-hmm. made some measure suits available there too. You know, it's like a very small like men's wear haberdashery. You know, like they yeah. have penguin and stuff like that. I think. And that one took a while. We actually did that. We actually did the episode twice. We've done quite a few episodes twice. Yeah, that that one. There were audio issues with. I mean, that was a situation. Like not. I mean, not to call them out because, like, you know, how many people have fucking mics or whatever. But it was tricky because he had like basically like a, a MacBook and what like like speak like headphones with a little microphone on it, and that was it. And it's like he had some trouble like even getting audacity to run and stuff like that yeah so. so one thing too is we preferred our guests to record their own audio because i knew that if i recorded my audio uh my and as you guys know from earlier streams my internet is not always the best um because i'm upstairs and you know if you know how wi-fi works it's like that um but yeah so it was always tough and i, I didn't want to like just cut out or, and, or, or like lose a thing and i know that's a thing that most modern podcasts don't care about like Spencer told me that there's an episode, I think, of like a Patreon thing. Yeah, where... like, yeah, I, I, like, I was listening to a Patreon series from a podcast um, that I like, and uh, in this series, the guest every time he tried to like introduce a clip, he would like play the wrong part and go like, "Oh shit, sorry," and then there would be like ten <laughs> seconds of like silence as he tries to fix it, and I'm like, "I'm paying for this." <laughs> yeah, that's what I, that's what I always hated because you know it's it's like I don't I I always felt bad that of like of having people pay or just people like people listening to a bad product you know and i i've come from composing a composing background i come from a photography background where you know no, like no one's gonna be like like you know imagine if i would try to talk seriously about a spear point collar and it's all like fucking mirror selfies like like or or like just like a chest shot and i'm like yeah. and i'm writing my long art like it just doesn't makes sense to me right like i'm, I'm very i'm playing the mj sphere i'm still i can still hear you but i'm not gonna be able to see anything okay, okay. like i i know that menswear especially the way we do menswear is a very silly thing like compared to like a regular normal person you know like no one's gonna talk about color points or even just generally like we were talking about lapels earlier or like kiyoshi is talking about you know brown check jackets not meshing with you know a cityscape and 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 like steel and everything which is all cool to us but you know if you're like a regular guy uh it's not going to be that interesting right and i feel like it's a tough tough sell (laughs) yeah and i think that if you are going to do it the very least you could do is have a high quality product you know that way the only thing they can say is well it's just not my thing because otherwise you know it's 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 all about execution. I think we all we all know that about menswear, right? Like we, when yeah. um like you know if you're gonna wear a fedora, you better make you better try your best to make that fedora look as cool as possible in the best way, because if there's anything off about it, and you're still gonna get you're still gonna get people commenting, but if there's anything else off about it, then you're then you're fucking dead, you know. So that's why I was like, you know, you have to we got, we got to get good mics or at least the best mics we can. You know, I don't want like Zoom audio quality where things are glitching out i don't want like your phone like you know talking and and like people rustling around which you know a lot of our guests would just use like their airpods or or their um you know their phone uh earphone cables or whatever and it's just it even though it was good and again i don't i don't think that those episodes are inherently bad but like to me i was like this is not what i wanted to produce um which is why again we stopped we stopped really having guests unless, you know, like Young Chomsky, where because he's a podcaster, he had the yeah. high quality equipment. But the funny thing is, is that our initial take with him had audio issues. He had something bad on his end where I think a cable was loose or there's some electrical interference where like every time he talked, it would like buzz. Yeah, it will pop. And we, during recording, we both assumed that that had been uh, like dis or not discord, like hangouts or meet or whatever we were using. <laughs> You know, like we would we would communicate through that thing, but yeah, I just wasn't. gotta say I waved my hand in front of my face and I forgot that this has like hand tracking, so I saw my hand and kind of freaked out for a second. Oh, fuck, <laughs> noise suppression was on the whole time. Fuck. See, I hate that. I hate I hate that. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. So we we didn't really do we didn't I don't really like having guests, um, for that reason. 
Um, and that's why I would have them you know, again record their own audio because at the very least we would have their conversation because you know we're it's much more a good conversationalist. Like if you cut out and you're you're still talking, we can just go oh oh that's cool or just not you know agree with you and you know we can move on to the next point or something. Um, but yeah, mm-hmm. and then so after after August third, twenty eighteen, we did not have any guests and everything was the way you know it now where it is us deep diving into topics like spear point collars, what to wear in the rain. Uh, one of my favorite ones was when we responded to Simon Crompton's um, video on oh, dressing up in a dress down world. I think that was one of our best ones. Personally, I don't know about the play, the play, the, the amount of people who listen to it. Hmm. Um, I, listen I to love it. Best, so you better listen to it. And yeah, it's also back then we still did like one episode a month, which was still pretty low. Um, Cause yeah, yeah one year ago we were at episode 19 and we are currently at 53. <laughs> okay yeah we, really I mean, fucking, also, we blasted through those it also helps that you guys pay us uh for this now um and so we are more inclined to do regular content yeah um but yeah i love this comment i'm gonna read it out to you guys i enjoyed it and i am the first comment so would you please would you would would you please send me a spear point collar and that ah. is from Arif Sevmili, nineteen seventy nine, at fifty two oh four. So near the end of the episode, okay. I don't know if that's a reference to a joke that we did, um, but yeah. But we will not send you a spear point it caller. <laughs> it might, yeah, it might be. Um, wow, yeah, the episode responding up to dressed up and dressed down world has fourteen hundred plays. That's oh, crazy. Man. Um, Ethan. Ethan in Japan that I that we recorded last year again. Tw- episode twenty four was one year ago, and we are we have doubled that now. Um, that was nine hundred nine hundred ten. Our oh the episode where I talk about Ethan Newton and Bryceland has twelve hundred plays, which is crazy because unfortunately he is not in that episode at all. Oh, uh, it's just me talking about my experience with it. And then afterward, our views kind of climb up. I don't know what happened after that, but uh... if anyone's <laughs> listening into the stream, let us know how. If there's any echo, because I switched, um, uh, since I switched audio devices, I want to make sure it sounds okay. Are you, uh... Wow, we have a lot of plays. I mean, I don't know if these are just kind of legacy plays, yeah, you know, I people go back to this stuff. Um, but yeah, like how we like buy clothes was like a thousand. The rule of cool was a thousand. Uh, then yeah, we haven't had that much lately, but maybe because people are tired of seeing us twice a year, or twice a week, or <laughs> almost, or sometimes three times a week if you count the podcast yeah. and, and the things here. Um, but yeah, like our bonus previews don't have a lot. A <laughs> young well, child. I mean that makes yeah. sense. I, I never listen to previews on podcasts that i listen to i do when i'm bored yeah young chomsky has a lot i think that one has just over only over a thousand that's interesting yeah i love how the button pocket harmony has only 500 listens i think that's hilarious really yeah we haven't really hit we haven't really hit a couple of highs lately like our wide leg trouser only has 500 again this, this is only going by soundcloud i don't know if this counts other other platforms yeah um, you're fucking ruining our reputation hey but like i said it doesn't matter if only 10 of you guys listen to this because that is what we thought only the only people who listen to this were mm-hmm. are are like or like 30 or so friends because there's only like 30 people there's like 40 people in discord so um yeah uh so before i jump in i know we got like a little bit longer that i can keep talking about this for um but I thought it'd be kind of fun to talk briefly about our favorite jokes. And the the, the funny answer is that Spencer and I seldom remember any of our jokes that we make on the podcast. I don't remember anything I ever say on the podcast. People, after a podcast episode comes out, they'll like be like, oh, I like this. Or I thought that was funny. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, I also don't listen to the podcast. Uh, I'm one of those people that, I don't know, I think I'm like very, I'm uh, I can be very... Uh, self-critical and so if i listen to the podcast i end up hating myself um so yeah i don't think that's uncommon uh-huh it's i a, don't yeah i you know i i kind of get that. i can't i can't watch myself mm-hmm. uh, like i can't watch myself act like i, I was <laughs> like in videos in college i can't do it 
you know, I can't watch the Ethan Tyler stuff or the assassination of Osama bin Laden. Um, <laughs> Uh, but I can I can listen to myself. I think it's because I already edited. I, I I got used to it editing the podcast in like the first like twenty episodes, so I'm like I'm like okay with it, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean I, mean, I know I know I, I know all of my what what was that? Anything I create, I can't really spend too much time thinking about after I've made it. I just have to send it out there, otherwise it gets too nitpicky, and it never happens. See, I, I have to do it because I think I have to take an active part in sharing the content. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I have to actually, like, you know, send it to people, put it on social media and everything. So, like, I'm exposed to my own content quite a bit. Yeah. Um. So, I, yeah, I'm just, I mean, obviously, as you guys know, like, that's what I do. And I also did it for a living for a little while. For other, I mean, for other people, obviously, but, you know, sharing content um, that I had produced, like, photography and, and the blog posts and everything. Yeah. Um... But yeah, no, I don't. I don't know. I think I'm. I'm pretty okay with that by now. Um, I already know all of my weird things that I do. I know I say, I think, uh, other than burping a lot, because I would only <laughs> record episodes out on my lunch break, or I would eat during work, and then I would, you know, do a podcast like for an hour. I would spend around on a lunch break. Um, but uh, and yeah, other than that, I do. Sure. Excuse me. See, um, I know. I, I know. I repeat all in every day. Speak of the devil. Um, take a shot. Uh, but I, yeah, I, I do know that I have certain idiosyncrasies of my voice and and the way my speech patterns are and everything. And I got pretty okay with my lisp because it's just like my mom actually put me in therapy for it. Wow. Yep. And it. Uh, she didn't want to keep paying for it, so obviously I still have it, as you can hear it. So, uh, yeah. I have um, a slight lisp now that I uh, wear Invisalign uh, retainers. <laughs> See? <laughs> so it is, Everyone. we're listening. Yeah. MJ, what settings are you using for your for your HUD? Are you just doing instruments only, or do you have any of those turned on? Uh, I, have, I haven't changed any of those from regular. Oh. Because I'm trying to figure out which, one I, which ones I want to have on or off. I'm afraid. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to... So... Some of the be- some pod quotes. I started the channel today because I just I actually I didn't even know it was the third year three year anniversary of the pod uh, be- until I checked Facebook memories and then I, apparently I shared it today that hey listen to the podcast. Yeah. Uh, so I quickly pivoted. Um, there's quite a few funny moments from the Patreon episode I think that's pretty good. Um, which uh, if you guys are watching and you're not part of the Patreon, do it because it's funny. Um, but. Yeah, apparently everyone really loves Don't Get On Mike, <laughs> which is, yeah. which is, uh, that's a joke. also stolen. Uh, yeah, so not to, yeah, to get, since this is like a very, uh, re- reflectory kind of episode, uh, in Comedy Bang Bang, um, they make a joke that the audio producer shouldn't get on mic, and, and he doesn't, although there are some times when he does, but Scott Ackerman was, would always like, it's a joke where he would always reference the audio producer and even like thank him or say something, but he would just and always end it by and, and don't get on mic, please. Um, and as he especially does it whenever he's reading uh, ad copy because it's probably it's probably just him and the audio producer. Um, yeah. But then he yeah he doesn't he doesn't do that. So I kind of did that for MJ, um, which is fun. Um, apparently, someone liked where I said. Young Chomsky is a part of the left, which I guess is a term I'm coining, which I think is kind of funny. Um, and I did not remember I ever said that. And it actually takes place in the intro to his episode, which is yeah. crazy. It's like it's like in the first uh, like in the first five minutes. Yeah. Um, there's also that I mean so Philip here says the quote from um, Spencer about how and we said this on the dating one where a girl matches them just to find out if you really dress like the way he does. And Spencer's yeah. response was, well, uh, ja- I'm followed by a lot of Japanese guys, so... And, well, they, like, like, and they like I it. I'm like, Japanese guys on Instagram love the way I dress. Yeah, that's and that's so solid. Yeah. Um, but, so here's one that I think is really good. So, as you guys know from earlier streams, um, we would start out the stream by talking about what we're, what we're wearing and we've now co-opted that to sad head saturday where you can tell you can share with us your outfits um share but it with us share it yeah we um, demand 
but we yeah we would talk about it on the podcast as well we would do that for each episode that we were doing because you know at least early on we would have guests on who would be very stylish and i'd usually shoot them if they were in person with a gun just kidding tos um but good thing you said that. figure it figure it good thing you said that. yeah uh i i used it uh, I, sh- I shot it with my camera um just in case the twitch gods are listening the twitch cops the twitch cops content cops i dub um and so yeah we were talking about and one of the best moments was i think at this i think it was the gooch brothers the one with both of them and we had already done this twice because we had been at josh's house recording this episode mm-hmm. uh recording recording episodes with the with the brothers so we came back there for the third time to do an episode and so i said spencer we're like what do you Tell us what you're wearing today. And Spencer goes, what do you want me to start top or bottom? And I go, why don't you start from the middle? <laughs> I said, no. I said start from the middle. Oh, what, were we talking about? Was it what I'm wearing? No, you, you, you asked him. Josh's outfit. I was describing Josh's outfit or something like that. Oh. And then and then I asked, where do, where should I start? And then I said, I'm going to start from the middle. And then I went and then I went on a belt. And then I went on the belt. And I'm like, OK, where do I go from here? Up or down? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty funny. I kind of yeah. I, I I hope that um, if I if I ever, which I doubt, if I ever get a, a chance to be a guest on Throwing Fits, when they do that, I'm gonna start from the middle. Because okay. they always say you gotta start like you gotta start like bottom up or something. Because like you gotta start with like the shoes. Like, they have like a weird thing about that. But I would say I don't agree like, with that. Yeah, I, don't, I mean I. I... Whenever, whenever I'm describing my outfit, I start with the piece that everything is built around. I don't think yeah. I don't always. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because it's like, oh, I, I, I wanted to wear this Drake's tie. So I'm like, oh, I'm wearing this cool tie. And so with it, I'm wearing this three point mm-hmm. jacket or three point collar or something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I think I think it's it doesn't sound as funny. Uh, but if you listen to that clip, which I think is an episode. If I just search Gooch. <laughs> Uh, I think it's episode 12. It's either episode 12, 10, or 8. Um, where, yeah, where it's just it's just so funny. And you can hear us, like, crack up laughing about it, um, which is good. But, yeah, those are, like, yeah, those are, like, my favorite moments from the, from the pod. I mean, and we've had, we've had a lot of great stuff. Um, there, as you guys know, Spencer and I crack up, like, half, half the time whenever, whenever we get into our little improv <laughs> improv things yeah. <laughs> where we just go forward we have our dan Harmon thing which uh, he's looking at me right now um <laughs> he lives in your room that's right he, he, he can't leave because he, he claimed through the yeah. through the window yeah, he's like two weeks are up but then i see i keep seeing someone else and he's like fuck you i want to leave but i can't because <laughs> you know it resets the quarantine clock dude that's why you haven't seen a new episode of rick and morty in a while guys <laughs> exactly <laughs> that's that's the reason um but yeah uh that's kind of uh it's been fun we still got more stuff to show you guys we there's always something to talk about there's always gonna be stuff um that happens um and we thank you for supporting us because it's crazy that we did i mean we we did it because we're like you know what we're just gonna open it up and see what happens you know and and if five people do it, then we at least paid for the podcast each month. You know, it's like <laughs> yeah. that, that was like the thing. At least, at least it doesn't, uh, you know, stop me, stop us from um, creating. Well, it stop us from creating, but like at least it's not like a a uh, a hole in, a, a a one hour of work hole in our wallet each month. You know, mm-hmm. um, and you know, hey, maybe now I'll, I'll be able to, since the blog and the podcast are kind of tied. Maybe I'll maybe this time I'll actually be able to buy my hosting. You know, after after we pay off the last part of our audio equipment and we pay off next year's hosting for the podcast, maybe we will do the blog, and then maybe now it'll eventually be an official website that doesn't have .wordpress.com. Who knows? <laughs> we don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I don't really think about this kind of stuff. Um, again, we don't think about monetizing. Um, and if you look at at it at the you know our other two competitors or three, I guess you know. Um, you know, throwing fits has the star power. Obviously, we can never compete. We don't know any actors who could be on here. I technically have an IMDb profile, so technically the star power is already here. Um, sure. But uh, you know, we uh, we don't have like Jonah Hill or anything on this. We don't have like what the five million listens per episode that they have or whatever. Um, 
Those are bots. But soon. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I, I don't even know 5 million people, dude. Like, <laughs> that's the size of, like, Pasadena. Like, or whatever. Yeah. Like, however people live here. Um, probably not 5 million people. Um, but yeah, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know about, mo um, monetary stuff. And of course, sponsorships, as you guys know, we've been sponsored by Put This On for a couple episodes mm -hmm. of the podcast. Um, but yeah, we don't really seek it out because uh, our numbers are very inconsistent as I just showed, as I just shared with you, you know, um, too transparent. That's, that's, uh, but that's, I mean, that's, that's like the reason why people like the podcast, you know what I mean? Or lots of people listen to us. Um, and I don't know if you guys knew this, uh, who watch the, uh, who are watching with us today, but the podcast technically was because me and Spencer would occasionally go live on Instagram whenever I was at his house. And then we would talk about topics or answer questions. And I was like, you know what? We should just record this and make a podcast. And then we did. And that's then a, we did. That's a, that's a pretty good origin story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, see, it wasn't, it wasn't less, be uh, less time. random, I, I think. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It wasn't as like, uh, like it was never going to be the comedy bang bang thing. I thought, I thought it'd be funny if that was like a thing, or I thought I was going to start like my own comedy bang bang, and not 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 even think. I mean, it was just a thought I had in my head. It wasn't like, oh, here are the steps I'm going to take to make this happen. But yeah, it literally was because me and Spencer would go live on Instagram, and of course, people would would come. I, I'm pretty sure Ivan was there for a lot of that stuff back in the day. All just was there. Um, you know, Audrey, that you know, he was a sidecast fanatic, you know, that we would see. Um, you know, so it was a lot of, it was a lot of fun. We thought, you know I I didn't want to put it on my actual feed because you know you can still like share it. Um I didn't want to download it and put it on YouTube because I thought that was kind of weird. Um but yeah, podcast made the most sense. Yep. And you know, again, I don't think anyone's gonna sponsor it, but if you if it's more of those things, especially I always talk about this where like, you know, if, if people want to sponsor it, they will they will talk to us and ask us. You know what I mean? Like they will, they will be like, "Hey, we love the podcast, and we'd love to put our name on this episode or a couple episodes or something." Which is kind we'd of what happened. We'd love to put our stamp on it. Yeah, which is what happened with Clark and Barba, which was our first ever sponsor because they had already made us some bags that you guys can check out. Um, made that like two years ago, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. um, excuse me. Yeah, I still had my old car, so. RP Monster. Got in a car accident the first meeting we had with them. Um, yeah, and I had to do, and I and I had to do most of the meeting, and it was uncomfortable because they did not expect me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they expected Ethan. They got Spencer. Yeah, um, and then you were dealing with a hit and run, not a bad hit and run. They like yeah, it was, it was just someone had like rear cosmetic ended damage. Only, yeah, but... someone had just rear ended me, and then I think I think it counted against me because I think that uh, I must have like gotten these the license plate wrong. Um, cause I, I saw it in the mirror cause they like, they like, they, they like backed up and like, like they, you turned out. So I didn't really get, I didn't see it. I had to look into it in the mirror. So maybe I just got the numbers wrong, but like when they did it, um, any variation of it, whether it was an S or a five or whatever it was, like it either was an Oldsmobile or a car no longer in service at all, which maybe could have been their thing. Maybe which is why they drove away because but it didn't, it didn't look sketchy. Like it was like, it was like a, like, you know, like an early 2000s car. It wasn't like. You know, beat up car or anything, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. It was just kind of weird uh, that that happened. Um, but yeah, that's typically always how the sponsors would go. Like you know, like I, I had always like just like the blog, right? Like we don't care about Squarespace, and we, I mean, I use it. I mean, if they wanted to, they would do it, but like we wouldn't seek it out. And we're like mm -hmm. with the blog, right? Like, oh, why don't you get a sponsor? Like, why don't you try and put ads on it? I'm like, yeah, well. The shoes I really like are like Alden's, and Alden's do Alden doesn't really do that. They're not gonna like sponsor some no name blog, you know. E even even Permanent Style doesn't have that. Who who sponsors? Oh, Stoke, I think Stoke does Permanent Style, and like Dapper Classics does uh, put this on and everything. But then when you look at that stuff, all of their content is designed to get eyeballs, right? Like put this on will do. Like sales, you know, the eBay roundups, you know, and everything like that. Permanent style does like that's why he goes around, you know, trying to find the best bespoke and he writes about it because he knows people, he's the only one who will do it and that will bring the eyeballs. But for us, uh, we are very confident no one's going to care about B headwear, uh, but we do it anyway because we love it and we want to talk about headwear that starts with a B. Um, and suck on that, I guess, you know. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. MJ, can we turn off followers only chat? Because like, maybe that's someone we should. That way anyone can jump in and chat with us. You know what I mean? I didn't know there was followers only. Yeah, MJ, uh, I, I can see it in mod actions. Uh, yeah, if you, can, if, you can actions? if you can turn it off. It's okay. Yeah. I don't He's know. He's wearing a uh, VR helmet, man. I don't yeah. see it on here. Look harder. Dude. Hold on. Like I, I go in mod actions, but it just it doesn't have that as like a thing. I don't even know how you turn that on. Oh, there's no like toggle for it. There is no toggle for it. It just has how to turn off follower only chat Twitch. But yeah. Anyway, uh, we're at the one hour, and I hope you've enjoyed this little highlight that I'm gonna put on the on the YouTube channel, um, about our blog turns three.